Since you want to be out of pocket, let's go into out of pocket tweets. So I got some out of pocket tweets that I just needed to talk about. I screenshotted them. It was crazy. I was like, I need a show to the class. So see what the audience thinks. Mm -hmm. So one of them says, I thought sleeping naked was sweet until a rat licked my click. <laughs> Wait, I kind of got scared because this cord touched my leg and I got some ripped jeans on right now. And you said that? Ew. Damn, Jaybird. My name is Donovan, a.k.a. Double Dono. Welcome to the Nameless Journey Podcast, where we talk about everything, and I mean absolutely everything. So today, for the Hot Topics today, we have the UK man runs the length of Africa. My eyes hurt from the solar eclipse. Not mine, but we get over here. And they are having the Enhanced Olympics. So let's go ahead and introduce my co-host. You already know the deal. This is Kyle Land, three eyes. You already know the deal. Link in the description. Go check out his Instagram and TikTok. And also like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And hit that bell for notifications when we drop a video. We drop videos every Thursday. And on top of that, use code Dubadono at AZPA and Habits365 if you want 10% off or 15% off when you use my code. And on top of that, when you subscribe to the channel, you can take Kyle with you. You can have him. I know that's right. <laughs> Have them. Please. So how are you doing today, Don? Uh, I'm doing good, man. Another day. Uh, another podcast. Real yeah, talk. Know, Best podcast right. in my home. You already know the deal. So <laughs> how are you doing today? Doing really good. Yeah. Type stuff, type stuff, type stuff. So let's go in and go into the first topic. The UK man runs the length of Africa. Do you know the man... Of the name Russ Cook. Mm -mm. Well, he's a UK man. His name is Russ Cook. He run the whole length of Africa, which is ten thousand miles, ten thousand mile run, which equals to three hundred and eighty-five marathons. He ran through sixteen countries and ran this whole thing in three hundred and fifty-two days. That is crazy. Hmm. Three hundred and fifty-two days. Mm -hmm. Three hundred sixty-five days in a year. Exactly. Dang. He said that it was a struggle. Uh, he struggled with alcoholism and gambling. He decided to make a change, and his change was running across Africa. So he did that, and he succeeded, and he will be in the history books as the man that run, ran the length of Africa. So could you ever do that? No. Or would you ever make a goal like that to be able to run across the length of Africa or anywhere? Because you don't even go to the gym. Right? Okay. So, like, I I don't think I've ever seen you run on a treadmill. I've seen you run in person before, right? Me versus you. And I beat you, right? And that was just, like, straight ahead sprint. And I, I won, of course. <laughs> Strong legs over here. You already know the deal. But, like, with you, could you ever do that? What that man did? No. no. My lungs could never. I couldn't do that either. But also, I heard that he got robbed in two... Uh, areas in Africa too, while doing robbed that. and kidnapped in two oh. areas of uh, Africa, and still was able to succeed. Man, through it through hell, he uh -huh. got back. He was through hell. He <laughs> said, "I could have done it in three hundred and forty days, but I got kidnapped for a couple of them, and now I'm at three hundred and fifty-two days. We made it, but I could have done it sooner, you know." But what's uh, this? A, a, oh, his race. He's from the UK. Oh, so he's. Oh no. So he's basically white. Yeah, yeah. That's what. Yeah, they could do it. I can't do it. I think you could do it. I, mm -hmm. maybe, maybe if you stretch, you got to stretch and mentally prepare yourself. I could but see you running across the lago. Ooh, half a Delago. <laughs> <laughs> you could do it. He could beat me in a sprint. He could do it. No, no, my back hurts. I couldn't do something like that, unfortunately. You just have to have sturdy legs and huh. a good lungs. I do, but I have a bad knee, and sometimes it rusts up, 
you know, especially mm-hmm. with the wind pressure and the rain. It, it's hard on me, you know, so you got to be careful. Like, you know how I rushed it up at Coachella when that lady was sitting underneath me and I didn't want to sit down because my booty was going to hit the top of her cranium. I was like, I'm not going to do that, you know, and my knee rushed it up because I didn't want to hurt her. You know, that just shows how much of a good heart I have. <laughs> Such a cow. I mean, such cow. It did. You, you, you weren't even there. You I, just hated. The, well, the story sounds cap. It's not cap because I didn't want to hurt her. You know, because if I sat down on the top of her cranium, it was going to be done for her. She was either going to come out with a concussion or she wasn't going to remember the half of Coachella. Right? So she I wasn't, wasn't even going to remember Coachella at all. It, probably. <laughs> well, she was what, on. Yeah, she was on that. Do, 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 do. You know, she's in slow mo. Mm, she was in slow motion. But I was just like, let me be careful. But besides that, the UK man named Russ Cook has reigned the length of Africa. I could never do that personally. Congratulations to him. I know he's having a big old party at a hotel and everybody's invited. I'm not going because I'm not from Africa. Well, I am, but <laughs> y'all brought me here. But other than that, um, uh, I'm going. <laughs> so you're, you're going. I get deported back. That's okay. <laughs> what, uh, would you visit Africa, though? Yeah, I would. Yeah. I've been, be really I already cool. told you I've been to Jamaica. I would go. Honestly, I would go places just to explore them. I'm not going to go ride on no elephant or anything, but I'll go check out uh, places. You know, I feel like it would be a good experience for myself. Yeah. I'd ride an elephant. You would ride an elephant? Yeah, like a cowboy. I'm good. Elephants are super smart. Do something wrong to them? Man, it's done. I think it was one dude. He got killed by this elephant, right, in Africa huh. um, because he did something to the elephant. Had the funeral. Elephants pulled up to the funeral and stomped out the casket. Are you for real? Yeah. Wh- wow. That's elephants sad. Are, elephants are smart. They said they finna get they get back regardless. Oh, huh. Goodbye. He said, to the, he said to the grave, <laughs> and then too heavy, we gonna stop out your body. Man, they probably buried him already with them. <laughs> them <Yeah. ass. laughs> and like they was starving. <laughs> I just know they are very smart, and I think they can like, uh, you get, you can like put your body on their trunk, and then they can put you over their back or something like that. See me personally, they I'm not gonna do that because first off, you have an elephant trunk. All up in between my cheeks, lifting me up to put yeah. them. No. Mm-hmm. 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 Hell no. Nah. It's it's big. It's not like it's something like Gay Pause. <laughs> no. <laughs> not like that. No, not like you, that. No. You said mm-hmm. And then you said it's big. <laughs> no. He just got a dirty mind. Hell no, nah, no, Diddy. That's crazy. <laughs> Fancy. You're tripping. Speaking of Diddy, since I said no Diddy, did you see the video of? Uh, <laughs> it was a video that 50 Cent posted, and it showed P Diddy um, during the interview with Mike Tyson, and he had his hand right there, and he was trying to grab Mike Tyson's cheeks on camera, oh. right? And Mike Tyson grabbed his hand and sat it in his lap, and then you could see P Diddy's whole smile deflate because he knew if he got any closer, it was gonna be done for him. And this was prime Mike Tyson. This was Mike Tyson when he was knocking heads off, biting ears off, didn't care about you. It was that Mike Tyson. I'm a fighter. Like, that type of Mike Tyson. You know, it's crazy. How old is 50 Cent? Do you know? I don't know how old 50... Probably 50. No, I'm playing. (laughs) But... 51. I don't know how old 50 Cent is, but he posted that video, and I know he's always... uh, He's never liked Diddy, and he's always been against what he's done, and he's always been exposing it, but he's been posting... Content of Diddy over and over and over again on his Instagram. I never even followed. If, 50 if you follow Fifty Cent on Instagram, go check out his Instagram and go look at the videos he's been posting about P Diddy, because he already knew about the whole allegations with the parties and all of that stuff. But he's been posting it. It's funny to me because P Diddy is crazy. He's been yeah. doing this stuff for a minute. I'm more of a seventy five cent, but you know, <clears throat> that's all. I'm Let's go into the next topic. My eyes hurt solar eclipse. So, according to Dylan Page, great source, uh, the solar eclipse happened after uh, happened, and after it happened, the Google searches started to pile up with large amount of people searching what happens when you look at the solar eclipse. Is there a cure for solar eclipse blind damage? The answer is no. 
Um, <laughs> and how long does the solar eclipse blindness last? Some people were issued fake solar eclipse sight seeing glasses and some brands from Amazon were recalled and unsafe. So did you guys see the solar eclipse? And on top of that, did you suffer from blindness? And if you did, I will know because you're going to put it in the comments and the comments ain't going to look right. Um, but did you go see the solar eclipse? That's my question. I was at work. I really didn't. In and, the morning? And, yeah. and It, it came happened, through around oh, like 12. Think, oh, 12. Because, okay, because majority of the um, the research and the people on social media were, we're saying in California. That, yeah, it wouldn't show much of California. So my mom had uh, FaceTime me. She lives in Texas. Mm-hmm. And she FaceTimed me. And dude, it was like, it was a little dark for a moment. And my dog was looking at it. So I said, girl, move my dog and put him inside so you don't look at the thing. But she was looking at it. But in California, when I was on my break around like 11 o'clock, I didn't see nothing. No, no. no shade or none of that either. Is your mother good? She's fine. She had glasses. Were they real glasses? Because they... She's fine. Mm. Uh, but, me, me personally, I, I don't really care about the solar eclipse. It's not that deep to me yeah. personally. So I didn't go outside to go look at it and be like, oh, look, it's dark outside. Yeah. Like if it's dark outside, that means it's nap time personally, you know? <laughs> It was dark outside. It's time to go to sleep. Yeah. That's, that's all true. I think. You still doing up? I think there was um, a few states that it actually went full dark for uh, like around 3 p.m. It went full dark and then just went right back to normal. Mm. That's how like bad the eclipse was. It really fully and covered it. Was, it. Well, it lasted for four minutes and 24 seconds. Dang. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd be asleep. I saw one video. This kid, he had these glasses on and he was looking at the solar eclipse and that his dad said he could take off his glasses now. And he did. And he's still looking... He was still looking in the sun, said he couldn't see anything, went blind. I was like, wow. Jeez. Ah. See, I don't even want to play with stuff like that. Like, if I want to see it, I could search it up on Google Images. They were also saying that your phone could get, your camera could get blasted from recording it. I'm like, what? You could record the sun any day. What makes it? I don't. I'm not going to do it, personally. It's not. Not that deep. Mm-hmm. I don't want to see it. Mind. You know, it's not that deep to me. I went on Instagram and somebody already had it up on there. I was like, "Oh, cool. That's cool." It's dark outside. No, oh. I'm busy. There was this um, TikTok controversial video about a few people saying how like the government's controlling the solar system and how the eclipse was a whole <laughs> distraction <laughs> to to us so they could do something with NASA. That's really crazy. I don't think so because that's how. You know, the world works. I mean, the moon revolves around the earth. It it just does what it does. And that happens to be what it does. My dude, he thinks there's two moons. There's probably like three. What the we f- don't know. We don't know. You know, we don't know if those stars are real or if those are all just like, you know, you don't know. NASA could be just be faking a lot of stuff to us. And man. yeah, no, for real. I, I totally get you. Mm-hmm. Another topic about the solar eclipse on um, TikTok, there was this couple that have been a couple for a few years, like years, and they finally, <clears throat> he finally engaged to her, but one of her dreams were to see the solar eclipse or have the solar eclipse happen on their wedding. So when they got engaged, they waited and planned for the wedding to happen on the solar eclipse and they live in Utah. Aww. Yeah. Everybody so- in attendance went blind that same day. <laughs> No, everybody in attendance. So I hope it was worth it. Well, majority of them had glasses, but you know, the people who didn't. And they had sunglasses. That's what they had. They didn't have solar eclipse glasses. They had sunglasses. So they was all out there looking at the solar eclipse and like, ooh, ah, hold on, I can't see nothing. Why is it still dark after five minutes? Do you know why it would make you blind if it's just a moon going over the sun when you can look at the sun regularly? Me, no, no. It's just that I'm not going to look at it, you know, because if anything that can make me go blind. Disability. Um, I'm not. (laughs) Hey, hey, you think about disability pay and everything. I ain't (laughs) thinking about none of that. I'm thinking about I hope my body's still functioning and I can see everything I want to see. Well, what if you just get colorblind and you still get disability? That is like, I'm not going to lie. Personally, no shade, no tea, but that's like... I literally told you, this kid looked at the solar eclipse 
and said he couldn't see anything. Mind you, it's broad daylight outside now. I can't see anything. Does that seem like colorblindness? No. Well, 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 well what? Every condition is different. Are you a doctor? <laughs> Dr. Bartholomew? Dr. Bartholomew? Is that what you are? Inside joke. Dr. <laughs> Bartholomew, is that who you are? Because <laughs> no one's saying like it. That ain't you. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. But, but yeah. since you want to be out of pocket, let's go into out of pocket tweets. So, I got some out-of-pocket tweets that I just needed to talk about. I screenshotted them. It was crazy. I was like, I need a show to the class. So. See what the audience thinks. Mm -hmm. So, one of them says, I thought sleeping naked was sweet until a rat licked my click. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, I kind of got scared because this cord touched my leg and I got some ripped jeans on right now. And you said that? Ew. <laughs> and it was like the ratatouille. <laughs> it was the ratatouille. <laughs> so, so we said until what? Until what, dude? So what? I thought sleeping naked was sweet until a rat licked my click. My clit. <laughs> Girl. God, <laughs> you, you got some things to do in that house. That right there. It's time to get an exterminator. <laughs> Call Rescom to the rescue. <laughs> because you can sleep with pants on. That thing is calling up the lane, man. <laughs> it even go over your face and went straight for the A. Yeah, but he, that rat knew what he was doing. Mm-hmm. Now that's the real ratatouille. <laughs> <laughs> What's the next one? <laughs> if I get pregnant and we break up, he got to take this baby. I came into the relationship alone, so I'm going to leave alone. No. Okay. No. You was the one that wanted to throw it back. <laughs> like, <laughs> you, 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 both of y'all are in this together. <laughs> she said, no, I was carrying this baby for nine months. Nah, you go. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's no leaving. Both of y'all are in this together. Be Get together and take care of this child. What's wrong with y'all? Yeah. He said, you going to have the baby. You can have it. What? I'm leaving alone? I hate when parents get so, or like the, you, yeah, your parents obviously have a kid. So either way, you're a kid, you're an adult, whatever. You're a parent to that kid. I hate when parents make it so about them instead of the baby. Like you, you know you brought someone into this life, right? Don't make it about you. Make it about him or her. You know, the baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of parents like to make it about them. Like, oh, you're not going to see them because I don't want you to see them. Bro, it's not about you. Mm. you know make sure I mean? to take care of your child, too. Yeah. Real talk. Take care of your child. That girl crazy, though, for an out-of-pocket question. She said, you go keep the baby. I'll leave it alone. Exactly. This dude posted some Instagram flicks that said, asshole too tight, so I can't even give a shit. <laughs> 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 I ain't gonna lie Delete the photos immediately Just because like Look the photos is hard Like you could take some fire fix uh, Fit pics you know But the caption is crazy Asshole too tight I can't even give a shit That's valid <clears throat> When y'all see the picture yeah. is. I- <clears throat> Forgiveness, but 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 that was that's all too tight. You can't give a shit. That's nasty. Your stomach just gonna be. Uh, uh. Mm-hmm. He said, "Ew, wait, that was wrong. That was nasty. That was wrong." Let's get to the next one. Okay. Pixar is wild as f for making a movie about a rat that had to teach white people how to season their food. Hey, that is exactly low key. That's exactly what happened too. Yeah, he was literally teaching this white kid how to season food because he didn't know how to cook, and taught everybody else how to do it too. And they were all white. Well, well, Italian, which is basically white, white. you know. But like, still, that's crazy to me. That's funny. Yeah, that's smart. Some people are smart with these. Hmm. I get. Got it. She just had to season your food. So, another one. 
Yo, daddy wasn't in your life, but you know what a real man is. Okay. What? It says, yo, daddy wasn't in your life, but you know what a real man is? Ah. Crazy. Huh? <laughs> uh, that clicked like way later. <laughs> yo, daddy wasn't in your life, but you know what a real man is? Stop it. Just because you see it on TikTok don't mean you know what a real man is. Stop it. Ah. I almost had a sneeze. Bless you. Ah. That's crazy, though. <laughs> Talk. <laughs> so yeah, this is my man, my man, my man. Your bad. Your daddy wasn't even in your life. <laughs> no shade, no tea, cause that's that's kind of a boo. <laughs> Next one. <clears throat> Can't date a bald nigga. I'm gonna bite his head. What? <laughs> <laughs> that man a milk dud. <laughs> I can't date a bald. <laughs> I'm gonna bite his head. <laughs> You look like a Twinkie. First off, seek help. <laughs> seek help immediately. You gonna bite his head just because he bald? You too hungry, man. Go 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 get some food, man. Better whip it up in the kitchen. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> they say Giveon sings like Martin Luther King. Who? Giveon? Who's? You don't know who Giveon is? Mm-mm. Heartbreak anniversary. Give you on mm-hmm. that one TikTok. It was the day that I miss you, the day I never. It'd be like this. It'd be like, it's oh that. Yeah. yeah, that's him. Give you on yes. Okay. They said he sing like Martin Luther King, which is. I know who Martin Luther King is. I was about, about to, to say if you Martin Luther King. I because I, I had a dream once. I'm gonna ask you this. I didn't ask this during. I asked this during Black History Month on my job. I said, "Name three oh. historical Black people that are not Martin Luther King, Rosa Parks, um, Rosa Parks." No, I said Martin no, Luther no, no, no. You said I you said didn't let me. You. Shut up! <laughs> you can't name Martin Luther King, Rosa Parks, or Harriet Tubman. Barack Obama. Um... Aren't you black? Half. It don't matter. You're still black. Dude. Bro. Come on now. She. Wow. I know, right? Trash. You ain't really black. You ain't part of this. Dude, I don't know why it came to mind, but there's this conspiracy theory about no, no, no. Lincoln being black, but that's off topic. That's an off topic what? conversation that we need to that's for a different podcast. But my fault, my fault. You can't name <clears throat> three historical black figures. Martin Luther King. No, Barack you can't Obama. you can't name Martin Luther King. I just say you can't name Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Harriet Tubman, or I Rosa Parks. Malcolm X is. Wait, I think I do. Um, you know what Malcolm X is? Can you go? Yes. Okay. Frederick Douglass, Jackie Robinson, and Barack Obama. Okay. I'm sorry. I'll take Barack Obama out. Booker T. Washington. Who are all these people? Historical black figures. Like, they weren't presidents. They were just like... Let's go into some more out of pocket tweets. That's crazy. I know I've never liked history. <laughs> I'm serious. That's not an excuse. I'm se- sometimes. Sometimes it's just like wow. I know. I yeah, know. But it's all. It's not. It's good. all good. No, it's not. It's all good. This is most of the history is fake, anyways. But. The next out of pocket tweet is You know what that wet <laughs> Pussy got Cardi B And Megan Thee Stallion Cheated on and shot Sheesh <laughs> Free Tory Lanez uh, <laughs> Free Tory Lanez yeah. Okay No that makes sense though Because they were doing it And then all that happened And then that recently happened with Cardi B That's what it got him I'm getting cheated on the good shot. That's correct. All that wop, wop, wop. Sliding on that water got you sliding into another home. 
That was a bar. That was a fat bar. <laughs> the next one is <laughs> I bet SpongeBob's cum tastes good. <gasps> what? <laughs> hold on, hold on. That's literally what this person tweeted and said. I bet SpongeBob's cum tastes good as hell. He lives in a pineapple. Some of that pineapple juice got to soak it to his pores and make his nuts taste scrumptious. Okay, but he's you, in seawater. You got to go. You're dirty. You, you're, you're dirty minded. You're gay. Sp- it's a female. Oh. oh. SpongeBob. Come on now. <laughs> He lives in the seawater, so mix those together. That's a lot of acid and nastiness. Oh, the fact that she was able to tweet this is crazy to me, as it is. You're dirty minded. Seek help. Mm. She's smart, though. Like, she's smart to put those two to two together, and then I'm just like, okay, that's out of pocket, though. You do. Yeah. Why are you defending? I'm not defending, I'm giving her validation. That's defended. You're validating her feelings. Okay. Okay. Let's do that. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? I get it, though. This is out of pocket. You think that's a valid reason? <laughs> you think this is valid? I mean, he lives in a pineapple under the sea. <laughs> Oh man. Incorrect. It- you dirty bastard. <laughs> you nasty minded. You know what they say about people who eat lots of pineapple? Yeah, but- sick. <laughs> Just be married first. Kyle, let's go into some of your questions. Let's get it. Because these out of pocket tweets <laughs> got me rolling, but on top of that. You're 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 nasty. So we're gonna switch the topic up a little bit. Okay, <clears throat> Donovan, you're in school, right? Yeah. What are you studying? Business. No, I love business. That's my major. No, yeah, that's right. Yes, sir. What values are more important when you think about the kind of business that you want to build? Honestly, I haven't thought about it like that much. Honestly, um, I kind of count this podcast as like a small business even though I'm not making money off of it yet but I I put a lot of hard work into it even though I am in school you know so I kind of count this as my small business um and I choose the people that I have on my podcast wisely because I've had people that wanted to come on but um I ended up not bringing them on just because of uh certain certain reasons in how I didn't know if they were going to fit the podcast agenda that I wanted to have, you know? So that's why, um, I have you on because I'm able to connect with you pretty easily. It's entertaining for me, but it's also entertaining for the audience and the people that watch, um, episodes of the podcast, you know? Yeah. So, that's valid. um, I would say that's how it is for me right now, you know, but sooner or later I'm going to have more, uh, I'm going to be more experienced in having more of a business mindset, you know, but, as of now, I feel like I'm doing pretty good when it comes to that. In relation to business, what, who or what do you look up to as far as like books, um, old people or not old people, <laughs> like historical people or anything? What, what do you look up to? I look up to my drive. I look up to my uncle, honestly. My uncle, he's a very good businessman. And I also look up to my cousin. Mm-hmm. Uh, shout out uh, Malik. Um, but... Um, Basically, with them, they're in real estate. Uh, They own homes. And my cousin is very young, too. I want to say he's 27, 28. And he has two homes already, you know. And he went to college for business. He's been doing well. But my uncle is the one that helped him uh, get to that point. So now I feel like I want to do the same thing because I've always been business minded. Uh, and I've talked about this before, even when I was like a little kid, I would always just go out selling candy bars when other people weren't doing that or um, washing people's cars in the hot summer just to make a little bit of money or in the backyard uh, doing my little uh, restaurant with my little brother, calling it Don Mars. And we're making hot dogs and everything and other foods for kids and adults. You know, like I'm always thinking about something to do to make money. Uh in a positive way, you know, because I don't want to 
oh, I'm going to go sell drugs. You know, I'm not going to do all that. You know, but I'm always thinking ahead of time and new ideas and not being afraid to do it. So if you want to go do something, go do it. You know, like don't be afraid to post on social media. Don't be afraid to go start something new or a new business because people are always going to hate on you no matter what. Mm -hmm. But they be the first people to say congratulations to you when you start succeeding. Sure. You know? Yeah. They might hate on the ideas and be like, oh, like, oh, yeah, it's cool. Like, it's whatever. Like, it's what, like, but at the end of the day, when you start succeeding and doing well, be like, oh, I've seen, I've seen this and I've seen you do this. Like, cool. Keep seeing, but don't mean you're going to be a part of it, you know? <laughs> yeah. You know, that's just how I am. So it starts with you. It starts with you. Do your thing. That's all that matters. <clears throat> don't mind what anybody else is. They're on the sidelines. You're in the game. Continue to play in the game. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. I think that answers my next question because I was going to ask you, like, how do you uh, deal with fear and doubt? But that's basically how how you do it, right? Fear and Yeah, just do you. Mind your business. And uh, you might doubt yourself, but you got to continue to have that self-talk and be like, I could still do this. I could do this. Because there's times I don't even want to do the podcast, you know, because I'm like, sometimes I see the viewership. Sometimes I see how uh, people look at my page and they watch the videos, but they never like any of it or they never uh, subscribe to the channel, but they continue to watch. But I have to keep pushing regardless because it doesn't matter what people think of me because I like doing this, you know? That's so cool. I need to continue to push whatever content I want to push out. You know, I could I could do anything I put my mind to. I know, that's right. <laughs> okay, in your opinion... How different is an on-campus degree from an online campus degree or program? The difference? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> do you think that there's a difference? Not really. Uh, I do online because my uh, college that I go to is in Bakersfield. Um, that's why I do online for the most part. But also uh, COVID kind of really like messed me up and it made me want to stay in that online space. You know, so mm -hmm. um, I did do... Uh, a class on the Delano campus that they have, but driving to Delano every uh, two days out of the week. Um, it wasn't bad, but it was doing something on my gas, you know. Mm, but, gas ain't cheap. Mm -hmm. it's just like but that. I don't really think there's a difference, but as long as you're like wanting to succeed in shoot for the stars, you know, as long as you want to go get what you want, then go get it, you know. Mm-hmm. You just have to have that drive to be able to do the stuff you want to do, you know? There's probably the only difference is it's like, depending on what field you're in, like medical or something that needs to be hands on, right? Yeah. You would say that's valid. But yeah, honestly, it's not that different in my opinion. But like, if you guys think it's different, then it's different, you know? But in my opinion, I don't really think it's that different. Like, I'm doing the classes, I'm doing the work, I'm doing everything I need to do, and I'm turning it in. Sample as that. <laughs> Sample as that. Yeah, man. Is it ethical to fire an employee via Zoom? Via Zoom? Yes. Yes. That's like my last question toward like that. Is it ethical to fire an employee via Zoom? Yeah. Yes, because there's people that have made phone calls in fire them or release them from their contract you know yeah but there has to be a reasoning right yeah obviously there is a reason it did okay there was this video of this girl on tiktok uh, she was working on cloud she was working for cloud fair and uh they hired too much of the employees and they fired her with no reasoning so she got a lot of like um lawyers and she had like um very she was very aware of what to say professionally and not just like in a rude weird way mm -hmm. and she was asking them questions like why did you fire me or you know um just a lot of good questions and they were giving her like they were speechless and they were like well we can't really provide that to you until after our zoom call and she's like okay so you're gonna fire me and then tell me the reasoning after like that makes no sense you know mm -hmm. so that's why i was asking you that question because some people some employers will hire someone and then just fire them via zoom and have no response or have no reasoning to that see me now if i was in the businessman's shoes um, if I was to fire somebody, I'm obviously going to give them a reason, whether it's that we don't have the money to be able to afford you 
no more and we're going to have to release you from your contract because we're running low on funds and we're not making enough sales. Um, or you might have been doing something wrong and we've given you a chance to be able to fix that wrong, but you haven't done that. So we're going to have to release you. You know, now mm. those are some valid reasons, but they didn't give her a reason. They just fired her for no reason. Yeah. Then it's like, okay, I guess like whatever. Like me personally, I'm not going to trip too hard about that. Uh, but in her case, if she wants to go ahead and talk to somebody to figure out why she got fired, then go ahead. But you're doing a lot of digging just to get an answer of why you got fired. And not a check. Well, if she's going to, if she's filing a lawsuit, then yeah, like yeah. be wrongfully fired. Then if she's filing a lawsuit, then she files a lawsuit. But other than that, um, it wouldn't have been that deep for me. Just move on from that job and find something different. Yeah. Huh? That's all my questions that I had for you about like on a business aspect <coughs> of life. So. Mm -hmm. I like that though. Real talk, real talk. So let's go ahead and go into the next topic. We have the enhanced Olympics. Have you heard about that? Sheesh, no. The Enhanced Olympics are basically, well, it's not connected to the Olympics, but they're doing Olympic events. So basically, they're having the Enhanced Olympics, which is an Olympic event that have people that do enhanced stuff, whether it's like steroids or like juicing their own self sub, uh, to their body to have a higher level than regular Olympic athletes. Right? Um, this is called the Enhanced Games. They will have all the same events as the Olympics, but they will have combat sports, such as like boxing or MMA fighting or anything like that. Um, they can do any enhancements that they want for their events. And do you think this is a good idea to have this Enhanced Olympics? No, I don't think so. Because <clears throat> I feel like you should have a sober, clear mind, even though... Well, steroids don't make you high. They just give you that special power, right? Like that. Mm. They give you the ability to be stronger and get stronger. Obviously, there's side effects like hair loss um, or oh uh, looking older, aging. Gosh. Yeah. Like there's been some bodybuilders or people that I know that are like 20 something and they look older. They look like they're in their 30s. Ooh. I don't think it, I don't think y'all should be doing that, especially for like those type of sports, because you're training for a specific role or whatever you're doing. Well, they're still part. training hard, you know, regardless. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of increasing their mass and their body and everything, you know, like so they can be enhanced to be able to be stronger, be faster, be whatever, you know. Yeah, I don't condone none of that. I just feel like it's bad for your body, even though like. I overthink a little bit, so I think like sometimes you could just be doing it for a few weeks and you're doing fine. And then that one next time that you do it, it just like messes your whole immune system up or it just like makes you crash during the event. I feel like you just have a sober, clear mind and work hard for what you want to do. I think it's a good idea, honestly. You do? Uh -huh. I think they should be split up because like you go to the Olympics and then you get you use enhancements to uh, increase your performance then you're going to, what is it called? You're not going to be in the Olympics no more, you know? Because it's like you did all of these enhancements when you know you weren't supposed to be enhanced or anything. So they drug test you mm -hmm. before like your whole event and everything that's going to be going on. And that could mess up your reputation or anything. So I feel like the people that are doing enhancements to their body, whether it's steroids or being juiced up on something to be able to have a better performance, I think they should be on this side and the Olympic uh, athletes should be on the other side that are actually trying to okay. do their best without any enhancements in their body. And I ain't saying enhancements are bad. Me personally, I wouldn't do them, but like the people that do do them, do your thing. But I feel like it should be split up between the two. Okay, you know? that's a valid point. Yeah, that's yeah. how I'm like. So I feel like that's a good idea to split them up between the two. But if it's mixed together, then, then it's like you can't really get a definitive answer whether this person is actually better than that other person. Mm -hmm. Because one person is doing enhancements, the other one is not. Mm -hmm. 
Not a fair shot. There's no one uh-huh. win. Yeah. That's I, just how I'm like. Yeah. I dig that. You dig it? No, I dig. You dig, you dig, you dig. You dig. So. Y'all miss me, baby, you dig. Y'all lose me, baby, you dig. I mess with that song hardcore. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. What's your jam of the week, then? Okay. My j- no, 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 Baby, don't do that, no. What's your, what's your jam of the week? jam. I like the way you kiss me. You don't understand how much I wanted I like to press that mute you. button. Um, mm-hmm. But what's your jam of the week? Sir? I was singing it to y'all. No, I don't need you to sing it. I need you to tell me what the song is. I like the way you kiss me by... Can't pronounce the name. It starts with an A. I like the way you kiss me. No, 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 no. We don't need you to sing it. I like the way. Sir, let's go ahead and mute cheers, real quick, because he was over here singing it and nobody cares. (laughs) Well, I don't personally, but uh, like, if you guys care, go ahead and put that in the comment. So you get now? Yeah. Also, one more. It's uh, she knows by J Cole. Yeah, did I say that last time? It's still my jam. Uh, she knows by Am featuring Amber and Colt and Colt or so whatever by J Cole. Okay, yeah, that's a really good song. Oh yeah, 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 I know that song. I like it. It's a pretty good song. No, I'm so serious. I oh, know that God. song. You be gaslighting me sometimes. So I just make. I don't sure be gaslighting. I just be telling the truth. You just don't understand what the truth is. I. You just overthink. I know, <laughs> and that's something that I am working on. And yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes, sir. So let's go back into the next topic. Let's go ahead and talk about the questions from the supporters. Let's talk about that real quick. So one question that I got was from Maddie uh dot sixteen. Uh shout out her. It says, Why did I decide why did I decide to start a podcast? I think the reason why I decided to start a podcast was more just kind of like to give the opportunity for people to come on the podcast, like guests, like even if they are my friends, I don't really know them like that. You know, like I know them from social media or I know them for who they are at work, but I don't know them personally. So it gives me the opportunity to be able to speak to them and get more of an understanding of them. Um, so I feel like that's one of the reasons why I started a podcast, but also being able to speak my mind and speak my opinions and come up with topics, uh, that I enjoy that I want to share with other people that people don't know about, you know, um, because we on different sides of TikTok, different sides of Instagram or, uh, different sides of life in general. So it just gives me the opportunity to give you guys a little bit of information that I think is interesting that I can share with y'all. You know, that's me. I like that. Mm-hmm. You already know the deal. So yeah. shout out her. Thank you for asking that question. Maddie.16, you already know the deal. Okay. Uh, the next one was, what's the best place to go sightseeing? Me personally, this is more of a question for Kai because I don't be doing all of that like sightseeing or anything like that. I, Colorado chill. is very, very nice. Um, I still have so much places to go. Well, yeah. He went to Jamaica. That was that. From if y'all Bum, haven't checked out some of his content on TikTok, y'all should go check it out because he put some good content on there and some get ready's with me. So yeah, it's all right. uh, it was, in my opinion, valid. It's good. Yeah. Colorado is a very nice place. Um, me and my friends recently went to Cambria, and um, you know, it, I it's very crazy because you used to see like here in the valley, like it used to be like dead, like mountains with no grass, no nothing. But as we were driving, everywhere we would just see green. Green. Yeah. And I suggest you guys look up a lot of like hidden gem spots or even just going out in your um, city just to explore. You know, even if you get lost, there's always maps. There's always the phone, you know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, get out there and go do some stuff. It's fun. Type stuff. Yeah. You already know the deal. Colorado is like my highlight. You said Colorado. Go check out Colorado. Shout out Colorado first off. On the outskirts of Denver. Outskirts. Outskirts. Indeed, indeed, indeed. The next question. uh, Oh, yeah. That was from AJ Fields 3783. Okay. You already know the deal. Uh, Appreciate you for asking the question. Next question was from Dolly underscore underscore Dolly underscore underscore three. 
Uh, thank you for asking this question. It says, was Jeffrey Epstein a part of a blackmail operation with the government? Since you asked that question, I wanted to get a little bit in depth in that. I did a little bit of research. It says, according to CNN News, Epstein died by suicide because he hung himself. The, psychi the psychiatric department said he needed to have a cellmate. So he didn't do something like this. Um, he was he was at a suicidal risk in the time of his death. He didn't have a cellmate. They didn't replace the cellmate that was transferred out of there. He was able to stockpile a bunch of bed sheets, which he turned into a bunch of nooses. So uh, the prison guards were supposed to do checkups uh, on the notorious criminals every 30 minutes. But from 10.40 p.m. to 6.30 a.m., they did not do a check on him. On top of that video, uh, on top of that, the video footage that was directed right at his cell was like, down. Mm -hmm. And it had been down since late July. Um, the medical examiner said that... Uh, Basically, it was more of a homicide than a suicide because the bones and the cracks and everything, it seemed like he was strangled. And on top of that, uh, if you die and you're being hung, uh, the way you die is the weight of your body. You know, that's really like strangling you and choking you out. But it looked like he was strangled by somebody the way that the uh, the bones were cracked and everything. Because they did an autopsy right when they mm -hmm. saw him. Uh, that's freaking crazy. Mm -hmm. And the government be controlling too much. Exactly. But also he has some notorious names uh, or notorious celebrities, great celebrities that has visited the island. He was a businessman. So I'm not saying that the celebrities that went on there uh, were doing that stuff um, because obviously they were there to conduct business. But um, there has been celebrities that have been on that island and they did some crazy stuff like that with Epstein and you already know the deal. I'm not going to bring it up because YouTube content, but, but basically I think he was probably in a blackmail operation with the government because everything don't add up. Like nobody checked on him. Nobody had, uh, they didn't put a cellmate in there, uh, when they were supposed to, re uh, do a cellmate and they were supposed to check him every 30 minutes. They never did that. Um, uh, the footage all of a sudden was down and has been down since late July. That's random. The guards were not there to be able to, see what happened so it's just like that's crazy um and all of a sudden he just died uh hey, honestly i think thing, i think he passed away and he i don't think he was he committed suicide i think they killed him because you know he could have talked he could have talked for sure just because there was a lot of people that were on there he had a lot of footage and he made sure to steer uh away from the camera and he was behind the camera so his face wasn't shown but uh, the people that were celebrities, their face mm -hmm. was shown when they were in the act of it. And it was more like, oh, I got this dirt on you. And if you do anything, this is all going to go out. It just don't add up. <laughs> it don't add up personally. So it might have been a part of a black metal operation. You never know. Personally, that's what I think. Mm -hmm. But thank you for asking that question. Underscore, underscore, doly, underscore, underscore three. Thank you for giving us that question. Um, and I did a little deep dive just for you. You're welcome. That was a big deep dive. It was a lot mm -hmm. going on in that. But you got any questions? Let's go into friends. Friends. What do you think about, what do you think friendship means? Like how, <clears throat> how healthy should it look? Loyalty. Loyalty is friendship. Mm -hmm. Loyalty is friendship because there's, there's friends that I have that are in my friend group that I'm, cool with i'm loyal to them we all cool but there's people that are in a smaller circle with me there's friends within the friend group you know um and that's what i have kind of sort of just because i trust certain people more than my other uh other people in my friend group just because they know me a little bit more personally on a personal level uh, than the friends that i actually like hang out with in a full group you know so i feel like when it comes to friendship, loyalty is the best thing when it comes to that, you know, because. That's a good point. That's just me. Because it's like, what happens if we get in, uh, somebody and me get in, 
argument with a friend group. I don't want people to be choosing like, oh, I'm going to be friends with this person and I'm going to be friends with this person. You don't have to make a decision. Right? Like you can still be cool with both of us, but if you want to make a decision you go over there and you're like, oh, I'm not friends with that person because you're being for what? Somebody that was in the friend group. Mm-hmm. That shows that, your loyalty. Uh-huh, that just shows your loyalty. And I'm going to be like, okay, that's fine. Yeah. Like I would have been fine with you being cool with both of us, but if you throw me to the side and you're like, oh, I'm going to go over there, that just shows me how loyal you really were from the beginning, you know, and I'm going to leave it alone. We could have just stayed strangers. Uh-huh. Okay, point. so, and that, if say something that went, it steered left and they chose whatever. How do you make new friends? How do I make like new friends? personally, you. It's easy for me to make new friends. I just go talk to people, right? It's not hard to go talk to somebody. I feel like ever since COVID happened, it's been hard for people to just go out and go talk to somebody for real. Like, I'll go up to somebody, ask them a little question, or I'll go over there and I'll just be like, oh, what's up, bro? How you doing? Just saying what's up to somebody. You know, there ain't no problem with that, whether yeah. you male or female. Like, he cool. Like, I know some people, they get a little nervous when you talk to them, but it's just like, I'm here to break that uncomfortable yeah. uh, area. You know, it's not hard to talk to me, you know? He'll do that, too. And I feel like majority of the people since, like, COVID... It everyone's like so quiet and to their self. Like sometimes you do have to just go up to someone and break their character, mm-hmm. and you will see their true self. And some majority of the time, it is good. Mm-hmm. I'm quiet into myself sometimes, but like if I really want to go talk to somebody, then I will. Mm-hmm. It's not hard for me to random questions. Mm-hmm. Well, random. What up, bro? How you doing? Be like, what's up, man? How you doing? I'll be like, good, good, good. Oh, um, what, you, what, you, what you got going on? <laughs> I'm having a bad day, <laughs> <sighs> bro. I just met you. <laughs> just lie. No, I'm just say, just say what's up. Call it a day. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, that's about it with friends, though. I don't. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, I don't really. If my little group that I have right now. That's all I need. Mm-hmm. I don't want to make no new friends. If I lose friends, that's what that's what happens. That's what's meant to be. But I'm in my self growth era. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't got no problem making new friends. I'm just like. You just got to be bold with it. If you really want to speak, then you'll speak. Simple as that with me. That is valid. But the last question for the podcast for today is, what celebrity do you think had the biggest fall off? Trippy Red, Fetty Wap, Tyga, Roddy Rich, or Little Baby? I'm going to say Fetty Wap and Iggy Azalea. Now, now, Where now, did you get that A from? Iggy Azalea? Who said? No, I. That's what. That was my personal. What I would say. Oh, like, but I would say to answer your question, Fetty Wap. I want you to be more again. No, 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 no. We don't need that, sir. Okay. This sounds better on mute. Thank you. But you say Fetty Wap. I say probably Roddy Rich. Roddy Rich, really? Mm-hmm. Roddy Rich had. Crazy good album, right? Everybody listening to it, everybody loved it. And then he mm. came out with uh another album, Trash. Did not like it at all. And I was like, What is this? And then he started recently releasing more music and people were bagging on him and they're like, Oh, Roddy Rich suck, Roddy Rich suck. And his music wasn't hidden like it was back then, no more, you know? So I think yeah. Roddy Rich had the biggest fall off and he was probably still doing little concerts, baby though, right? Yeah. Okay. And probably Lil Baby. I haven't heard of Lil Baby's name in a minute. Uh, that's valid. Like, haven't been featured on any albums like Travis Scott, no Drake, no nothing. You think he's cooking? Just haven't did nothing, not, not released nothing We'll yet? see. We'll see because he released uh, an album where I was like, this is kind of trash. I don't really like it. <laughs> it was kind of boring. And I don't even really listen to Lil Baby like that, so my opinion might not even really matter and Lil Baby's case, but like yeah. Lil Baby was just wasn't the person for me, you know. Like he was cool. Like he was a cool artist. Like I would listen to him here and there. He had some bangers. But this wasn't it. But Nikki Azalea had some little bangers back back then. That was like back then. But then she fell off. I don't know what she does now. And I, I never liked Iggy Azalea personally. Really? I never really liked her music. Mm-hmm. I digged it. Yeah. But I didn't know that she had a baby with you told me this. Playboy Cardi. Yeah, I never knew that this whole time. That's why she stayed relevant and because she has booty. Yeah. But other than that, 
That's why. And I think she started the OnlyFans, too. Oh. That upper goalie part, too. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think she started the OnlyFans. Her. She had a baby. Playboy Cardi. And, and I really like her music at the beginning, for real. What? I think it was just that little, that little, I forgot what grade I was in. I was probably like. I was in middle school. Yeah, me too, I think. Like, barely getting into middle school. And that's what, like, those are the hits. Like, bang, bang. And then she did, like, collabs with Ariana Grande and Nicki Minaj, too. So, like, you know. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I just, never really liked her music, for real. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. I think what really threw me off is when I saw this. She was at a concert, and she was, like, freestyling. She wasn't saying absolutely oh. nothing. She was just spitting. Pull to the cat to the pit to the pot to the cat to the pet. What? What are you talking about? She does a little accent. And I was like, what? 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 She didn't say absolutely nothing. <laughs> she said everything with absolutely nothing. I never heard that. <laughs> what the heck are you talking about, bro? But that's what I would say. But other than that, you got any more questions before we go ahead and cut One this off? Last question. What is your jam of the week? What is my jam of the week? Yeah. What's your jam? <laughs> Got to press the mute button, uh, but I would say, mm, no, 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 let's not do that again. Uh, I would say, it's a hater, not a hater, you're just a bad singer. But other than that, I would probably say, uh, I've been listening to a little bit of unreleased Ken Carson leaks. Uh, Sydney Sweeney is a hard song. I would say that song, I've been listening to that in the gym. Sydney Sweeney, uh huh, Sydney Sweeney. Oh, okay. I thought that was a girl from um, Euphoria. I was like, she, yes. make, she makes music? No, she don't make music. Oh. That's what the song is called. Oh. Who made it? Kent. He not hear what I said? I don't, I don't even know these people. I ain't gonna I lie. said Ken Carson. I've been listening to Ken Carson, unreleased music. Song is called Sydney Sweeney. Oh. Okay. Different artists, people. I don't know. He rolls with Playboy Cardi. Yeah, I don't pay attention. I really suck at that. Mm-hmm. He's a part of a group called Opium Destroy Lonely Ken Carson and the Homicide Gang. They're a part of a group called uh, Opium with Playboy Cardi. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dope. Mm-hmm. So what's the, what's the song about? It's like literally about her. Basically, uh, because you know she got big old bitties, mm-hmm. you know. So like, I thought they were fake. You thought they were fake? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. They don't look fake. From Euphoria, but yeah, I ain't never watched Euphoria. They had everything on there. I was like, wow. But let me play a little bit, a snippet of it, real quick. Get copyright. Let's see how. Hey, you're gonna get copyright. Hold on. Uh, 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 uh. I am probably but that's a little snippet. What are you doing? <laughs> I was getting janky. What the heck? <laughs> like, that was a slapper. I ain't showing you no more music ever. Man, that, was a, that was a good song. <laughs> that was a banger, but like, yo, sir. What, what was the dance? What? What are you doing? What? <sighs> Thank you for watching the Nameless Journey Podcast. Bed Podcast in my home. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And hit that bell for notifications. When we drop a video, we drop videos every Thursday. And also use my code DUBLEDONO at AZVA and have us 365 if you want 10% off or 15% off of your purchase when you use my code. You already know the deal. Got the best clothing you could be wearing, especially since summer is coming up. Go get some new clothing from AZVA and have us 365. You already know the deal. This is my co-host, Kyle Landon. You got any last words before we go ahead and cut it off? Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next Thursday. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Thank you for watching the Endless Dirty Podcast. Best podcast in my home. And we out. Deuces. <laughs> Boy, you're crazy. Crazy.